It's time to witness nine different side characters from The Simpsons in nine different art styles. Let's do it. Number one, Tobias, from the episode where The Simpsons go to Australia. It's fitting that I draw him in the style of Reg Mombasa, an iconic Australian artist. Mombasa used to make a lot of posters, so I'm gonna make a Tobias poster. Give him three eyes, that Mambo-y font down the bottom, and then color him in colored pencil, which feels nice. Prime Minister, give him the boot. We're off to a damn good start. And one that is just warming up my Australian heart, I gotta say. Mombias Tabasa? No, Tobias Mombasa. <laughs> Let's keep going. Bought as done by Paul Rand. Paul Rand is one of the most famous graphic designers of all time. Best known for his logos for IBM, UPS, Enron, and ABC. Bought, we all know from the license plate. I'm gonna loosely base the Bought logo off Next and IBM. I'll bring lines over the font like in the IBM logo. Skew the box so it's slightly on an angle. Make it 3D on the sides and then mirror the colors with the yellow and blue. And there it is, your Bought logo, straight out of a 90s tech company. Bought Industries. <laughs> All right, back to drawing. Three, Edna Krabappel in the style of Edward Gorey. You'll know Edward Gorey for these illustrations, and you'll know Edna Krabappel as being one of the greatest side characters of all time. I'll draw her slightly longer than usual, with very detailed clothes, but very non-detailed skin. And Gorey wouldn't often use color, but he did a bit, and I'm gonna just cheat and use a bit of color for this. <laughs> that was so dumb. Four, Lenny and Carl in the style of Nina Chanel Abney. Nina Chanel Abney is the artist behind these works here. They are stunning and have captured my imagination. I'll start with these abstract shapes. One for Lenny, one for Carl. Then I'm gonna come in and color the shapes and make them kind of holding each other. Contrast the pastel colors with some dark stripes in the background. Ah, uh, Lenny and Carl spinning in infinite love in a hyper-colored geometric world. And I'm also liking that this isn't just drawing which gives me an idea. Actually, I will need the computer for this. Five, the crazy cat lady in the style of Banksy. The crazy cat lady throws cats. So I'm gonna turn Banksy's iconic flower thrower into the crazy cat lady throwing a cat. First, I'm gonna start with a picture of the flower thrower. Put on the lady's head. I'm pretty sure her name's Eleanor. And then in the thrower's right arm, I'm gonna Photoshop a cat. I'll turn the flower thrower's clothes into the dress with the apron thing. And then I'll make the Simpsons elements black and white. Now that I have my image, it's time to print. Out it comes from the printer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got my cutting board and my scalpel. I've got the paper taped to some thicker paper because that'll hold its shape more. Cut, 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 cut. Peel away the stencil. <gasps> and look at that! Holy smokes. An original Banksy. Six. Itchy and scratchy in the style of Mary Fleener. Mary Fleener is the genius behind these pieces. And it's not just her comics that are brilliant, it's also her unique art style. It kind of looks like a grungy Picasso. Big circle eyes, and then I'll add a square in the background. In that square, I'm gonna separate it with lots of little shapes, kind of like what you used to do on Microsoft Paint. And then I'll just color in the segments, some with lines, some with dots, some blank. This was a lot of fun to draw. I'm having a blast, this is my happy face. This is actually my happy face. I'm, I'm yanking your chain. I'm wiping your bench. I'm licking your ice cream. I'm having a good time. Seven, Sideshow Bob, Sideshow Mel and Krusty in the style of Keith Haring. Keith Haring, you'll definitely know from all these iconic pieces. I'll draw them very expressively. Put the bone in Sideshow Mel's hair. Incidentally, I think he's my favorite side character after Kirk Van Houten. I think he's very underrated. Go over it in a thin pen, erase the pencil, and then go over it in a thick pen. I'm gonna use digital color for this, so I'll just take a quick photo. I'll pull that photo into Photoshop, make the black lines black, and start filling in the shapes. A very unignorable color scheme. Nice and bright and in your face. God, this is a fun little exercise, isn't it? We're having fun, right? You and me? Having a bit of fun here? All right, let's get weird. Eight, Hank Scorpio in the style of Feng Zakai. This is his work, which is so freaking charming. It has elements of traditional Chinese painting, but with a slightly more cartoony twist. Out comes the watercolors. Little tray, paintbrush. I'll start with a pencil sketch of where I want it. Hank Scorpio in the foreground, a couple of clouds that he's in. I'll put him with his flamethrower, and then I'll go over it in a fine liner. After this, I'll color it in watercolor. Bright green sweater, purple mountains in the background. Get that skin looking yellow. And now we go over the lines with ink. That way it kind of looks painted. I know this is probably cheating, but this is how I did it. And that's the final product. I don't think I nailed it. Like, I just don't. I don't think I nailed the style, but I'm, I'm happy with the artwork itself. I think it's funny. I think it's cute and sweet. 
Still got a long way to go with the brush, I think. Anyway, let's let's change the pace completely. Nine, Fat Tony in the style of My Little Pony. I'll draw a pony's body with Fat Tony's head. Give him his suit jacket and the polo shirt underneath. And I'll make this pony symbol a cigar. To really curse it up, I will not give him pants. My Lil Tony. Now I am gonna do a bonus style, but just before I get there, I wanna show you some more images, not from me, from other people. On Instagram, I asked people if they wanted to submit Simpson side characters drawn in different styles, and this is what we got. Look at this, look at this, this is lovely, I love it. Ah, oh, this is beautiful, this is great. I wanna start doing this for the style videos, so I'll put ample warning on everything on Instagram. All right, let's hit the bonus style. Who could forget about Dear Rat Boy in the style of Struthless? Me, my style. I'll have him pondering his own existence. I feel like I've been doing a bit of that lately. Give him a nice chunky tail, couple of piercings, organic gooey lines, icon in the background, so this could easily become a tattoo. Actually, I did once do a Rat Boy tattoo. This is it. Bit of stippling, bit of cross hatching. Get some color in there. Shade with a gray, make it almost look a bit dirty. And make the circle red. There it is. Nine styles plus a whole lot more. Plus of course, Dear Rat Boy. Thank you so much for watching. That was by far my favourite of any style video I've ever made. Let me know if the fun translated. Let me know if you had a good time watching it. Let me know who I should do next. I might start doing shows instead of characters next. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my shop if you haven't already. Streetless.com. We got shirts, bum bags, beanies, socks, colouring books, prints, stickers. Anyway, that's it from me. So here's an appropriate outro. <laughs>